Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have a PE problem, and in particular, this is going to be a transportation uh, problem. So here's what the question says. Uh, you measure the following tra travel times of four vehicles along a quarter mile, one lane highway segment. And we see our four times there. Uh, what is the average time headway? Okay, so the first step is to figure out where we can find a good formula that we can use for this. And we're going to be able to find this stuff in the PE reference handbook. So in the PE, uh, we're going to be on page 265. Okay, and on that page, we will find something that looks a little bit like this. Q equals uh, 1 over, and then we have H with a bar. Well, this Q right here is your flow, so F-L-O-W, uh, and this right here is your headway. Okay, so clearly um, what we need to find is our flow, so that way we can solve for our headway. So doing a little bit more digging, we're going to see that Q is equal to N over sigma from I equals 1 to N uh, of HI. All right, and so this guy is going to be your uh, number of time headways, and this guy is going to be your individual headways. We don't know our headways, right? So this one is not applicable for us. So we need to try another formula. Well, that other formula is gonna look a little bit like this. U sub S is equal to U over K. And at first glance, you may think we have a ton of unknowns. This isn't gonna apply to us. Well, it is gonna apply to us because the US is space mean speed, which we can solve for, and the K is the density which we can also solve for considering we're given a length and a number of cars, there's your density. So uh, we have everything that we really need to know um, in a non-conventional way. So if we look for the space mean speed formula, U sub S, uh, you're gonna end up with N times L over sigma from I equals one to N of T sub I. We have everything that we need right now. Uh, we have N, which in this case is going to be the number of our vehicles. L is the length of our segment. And TI is going to be each individual time. So we need to add our times up, and, uh, and that's what that sigma means. So let's go ahead and do that. Our space mean speed for this guy is going to be four vehicles because we have one, two, three, four vehicles times our length of segment, which we're going to go ahead and put this in decimal form, 0 0.25 miles. And then we need to put that over our uh, individual times. So we need to add our times up. So this guy is 0 0.6 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.55 and for shorthand I'm just going to write minutes because I understand they're all minutes under there. So whenever you simplify this guy out, you should end up with 0 0.426 um, miles per minute. Okay, and obviously you'll have vehicles up here too, but we can ignore that. We need to convert this into miles per hour. And so when we do that, we understand that 60 minutes are in an hour. Uh, and so you should end up with 25.53 miles per hour. So boom, we have solved for this guy now. And so now we need to solve for our density. Well, as I said earlier, our density is simply the number of vehicles over our distance. And so we have four vehicles and we have a quarter of a mile segment, 0 0.25 miles. This guy ends up being 16 vehicles per mile. So scrolling down a little bit. Whenever we use our, I'm gonna scroll up, there we go. 
uh, whenever we plug this stuff into our formula and we solve for Q, Q is equal to space mean speed times that K. And so this guy ends up being 25.53 miles per hour. And we're going to multiply that by that 16 vehicles per mile. And we notice that units kind of cancel out here and we should end up with 408.48 vehicles per hour. And so whenever we go back to our original uh, formula, which is going to be this guy, uh, Q equals 1 over H. Let's rewrite that. Q equals 1 over H bar. Uh, we understand that if we solve for this H bar up here, this uh, average time headway, uh, it will end up being 1 over Q, which in this case is 408.48 vehicles per hour, right? And so, hey, while I've got you here, if you've already enrolled in one of the review courses at civilengineeringacademy.com, keep it up. You can do this. If you're not enrolled, I encourage you to go to civilengineeringacademy.com to check out some awesome, awesome practice exams and resources to help you pass your FE and PE exams the very first time. So let's be real careful right here with our units. Uh, you, you'll end up with close to 0 .002 hours, but we need to be sure to understand that uh, whenever we convert those units, you may end up with the wrong answer if you round wrong. And in this case, you could. Um, if you did go with that 0 .002 hours and then you uh, rounded there and you converted that, you end up with, I think, 7 seconds. Yeah, 7 seconds, which is B, but that's the incorrect answer. Uh, we need to stick with what we have. And whenever we convert this stuff down, whenever we convert our hours down, uh, you'll end up with 0 .0 or 0 0.15 minutes close to it, and then you'll end up with 8.8 .8 seconds. So be careful with your unit conversion with your uh, rounding to, because that could ultimately cost you a problem, and in this case, it would have costed you a problem. So 8.8 .8 seconds, that's close enough to C, and so that's going to be our answer for this problem. So. Uh, I hope this video helps and we'll catch you next time.